everyone, this is Steve Jackson with Imprintables Warehouse and I'm replying today to a question on the t-shirt forums about how to create a text with this effect right here so that you could set it up for either print and cut or for cut but how to get the offset of the lettering and, and have it set up this way. So here's the finished project up at the top here and then we have the just the lettering right here, the X on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the extrude tool to get the offset color down here and then we'll use the contour tool to get the coloring right in here, the white. So first step is the extrude tool to, I've got the docker open here on the left, there's a number of different ways to get into it. I prefer using the dockers to get to the docker. You go to window, dockers, and you can see already it's got a check mark next to it so that docker is open. If you open up this docker and it doesn't show up on the side, uh, you have a little arrow set down here too that if you click on that shows all the different dockers because some of them are hidden here. So that one's open. So once I've got this selected and I've got my extrude docker open, I can hit edit right here and then it shows the the extrude effect that it's going to do. And right now it's set up for back parallel and the vanishing point lock to the object and there's my depth and the offset for horizontal and vertical. Well, I don't want it to go this way, so I can grab the little the X box right there, and I can change where it's going to go and how much offset. So right about there, maybe maybe a little bit tighter. I can zoom in on this, zoom in over there, and I want to see the edge of it there. So I'll bring in that offset just a hair to right about there, maybe. Oop. Edit again. I. I accidentally clicked off of it so I want to bring it over just a bit right there and then when I hit apply you'll see there's the extrusion and you can kind of see a little bit of a white line there the extrusion is an effect on the object that was there before the exon so I had the exon lettering and I converted it to curves and now it's an object it's not a text so anytime you have an effect on that you have to break it apart or it's connected to it so if I take this whole thing and move it over you can see everything's moving as one Oop and I moved it somewhere there. Sometimes you hit the wrong button. So even if I click off of it and grab this again, you can see it's all going together. So and that's not what I wanted it to do. So what we need to do then is arrange and we can oh, got the wrong one here. Grab that extrusion there. Should be able to go to arrange and break extrude group apart. Um, notice the shortcut key, control K. I say it in all my videos, learn your shortcut keys. They're going to help you out. So I can just click on that now, or I could have hit Control K, and you can see now that it's it's broken apart. You can see that white lines around there quite a bit. So we're going to grab that extrusion again, and I'm going to change the color to that orange that we had. And what I'm going to do with this is, since it's a bunch of different objects, it's a group of 23 objects. You can see at the bottom here, I'm going to ungroup them, and then I'm going to weld them together. So now it's all just one single object. And if I zoom in on that, you can see it's a single object. There's no lines across or anymore or anything like that. If I were going to cut that or move it aside, you can see there's there's the objects right there, the extrusion, or the, the single object because I welded it together. And that's what we want for this one. So next, we need to take this, this blue lettering on top here and give it that white outline that we wanted over there. So I can come over here to my contour docker and we'll go to the outside and do an offset of about a 0 0.015 and just one step is all I need so I hit that and you can see that it jumped out there and again we need to break this apart so arrange and break contour group apart because it was a part of the other one and now we'll click on it and change the color to white Oop, wrong one we'll change this guy to white and now we can take the orange in the back here and let's let's line it up a little bit better get it where we want. So there we have the effect that we wanted, the offset with the, the different colors and everything, and how it runs off into it, just like the one before. So using the contour tool and the extrude tool and a little bit of weld and a couple other tools in there will get us the effect that we want. Hopefully this was helpful for you and we'll see you at the next training timeout. Thanks for stopping by.